What up, y'all, DC Fago guy? I am running out of change. ICP dropped a monster bomb on us last night, announcing five events taking place over the next two years. The Ultra Live Monster 5. I have my own thoughts about it. CPN has a theory or a hypothesis about it. So I have my two cents to drop about it. My two cents, motherfucker. Okay, so let's start with the actual announcement, the actual events themselves. I was like super excited, super geeked when they announced it. And the reason I was super geeked and excited was, one, the coins seem kind of cool to collect. I don't know if you guys know, I, I have some of the, the little coins that Tech9 was releasing there for a short time. Uh, so I think the coins are going to be kind of cool to have. But... The, the revealing of what those coins can get you if you attend all five and you bring your four from the previous four to the fifth one, you get a little ID card that grants you the discount at the merch. It grants you early access into the venue. It grants you discounts on VIP. I was like sold right there. You guys know me. I'm all about getting fucking merch. So the discount was like, yes, this has to be something I am able to make it to, all five of them. But the more I thought about it last night and the more I thought about this morning, I kind of wondered, is it going to be easy to attend all five of these? I honestly think there's going to be international shows. As you guys know, they were supposed to go on a European tour earlier this year. Might have even been the tail end of last year. I think it was the tail end of last year which that show, that tour got canceled. I'm assuming they'll make that up at some point, and that, that, uh, that, them making it up could be possibly even the first one of these Ultra Live Monster 5 shows. Of course, I know a lot of people have wanted them to see go back to Australia. There's Canadian Juggalos that have wanted to see love. I don't think these five events are going to be as simple as driving to the west coast of the U.S., I don't think it's going to be as simple as flying down to Florida to go to the show. I'm thinking this could become an international thing that they're trying for. Dope for everybody globally, but sucks for those who definitely cannot make international trips. I think it would be dope if that is what they do for that reason. However, <laughs> if it goes international, one, this means I definitely ain't going to all five. But it also, to me, I think creates an open black market. And I want to talk a little bit about the open black market because I kind of mentioned a little bit. Coma Black had posted it on his Facebook page, his excitement for these events. And I, of course, made the joke of being able to buy four of the coins on eBay and just only go to the fifth show. I see that being something that could happen regardless of where it's at. If it all stays within the United States, I still see that being something that could eventually just happened because we all know there is a little black market within the juggler world. There's there's a, an amazing, wonderful um, economy going on in the juggler world. But we all know there's that black market of snakes that are going to charge you fucking three, four, five times value of it. Which these coins, in a lot of ways, could pay for themselves after so much time of going to shows. The discounts that you would get on merch, I suppose. But on that same hand, I guess these... Um, the scalpers are going to need to get access to these coins because they're going to want the discount too, right? So, I mean, just saying, I do see this creating a black market with these coins. Regardless, <laughs> I would kind of hope so because, like I said, if it goes international, there's no fucking way I'm attending all five. But that's just kind of my little thoughts about it is, are they going to keep it local in the United States or are they going to go global with it? I have a feeling they'll go global with it just to give everybody a fair chance to attend them all. And... You know, just to show love to international jugglos. So uh, I think the, the event idea concept, super duper dope. I, of course, want that fucking card. Not to prove how super juggalo I am. I see people fucking saying that that's, that's going to be something new. That, well, I'm a better juggalo because I have a card. And, and I agree. That's something that's probably going to happen. But I want that fucking card because discounts on merch, discounts on VIP, and early access into the venues. Sold right there. They haven't even announced all of the benefits of having that card. So let's talk about CPN's theory. So CPN has a little bit of a hypothesis about these events because it's themed very heavily around five. So CPN's hypothesis, his theory, we're going to call it a theory. Theory rolls off the tongue a little easier than hypothesis does. But CPN's theory directly ties to 665. 
His theory is that we already have the name for the fifth Joker's card in ICP's head. They already know what they're going to call it. It was supposed to be repeated several times through Fearless Fred Fury. So his theory is that we got to be getting close to at least the revelation and possibly some kind of release of the fifth Joker's card. And his theory is that we could see the sixth and final one be released either before or coinciding with the final show of these Monster Live events. Thus completing the 665 story. So I have to poke a hole immediately right in this theory. Because 665 has already been revealed to be a third set of Joker cards. Um, Violent J had an interview with Detroit News right before the release of Fearless Fred Fury stating this. I will leave a link to Fago Lovers. They, they posted an article about this. I can't get the actual video on the website to play. But I do have this clip from Drunken Ninja Master who has it on YouTube. It's not the greatest audio quality. But here it is from the horse's mouth. So you did six Joker's cards. Mm -hmm. We're doing another six right now. We're looking at the timetable of our life. We're going to do the fifth coming up, then the sixth. Then we're going to be, we're going to do a third deck. But we're not going to do six, six, six. We're going to stop at five. So six, six, five is going to be a third set of Joker cards. Um, it, was, uh, it was an interesting hypothesis that, that CPN had. But there's just, there's no way that that's what 665 means. Unless they've already changed their minds and they're like, there's no fucking way we have it in us to do another set of Joker cards. Let's just fucking wrap it up after this set. And maybe they came up with the idea for this Monster Live, uh, Monster 5, uh, Super Live Monster 5. I fuck it. That's, a, that's an interesting fucking title for those events. And I'm always going to fuck them up until it's like drilled into my head. But you know what I mean. They came up with the idea for these five events. And that's going to be how they tie off 665. Because obviously everybody's kind of sold on the idea of a third set. So unless that is what happened. There's there's just no way that that's what the 665 revelate, or that's There's just no way that's what 665 is. So um, not a bad hypothesis from CPN, but I had I had to poke that hole. I don't know if he's watching right now, but I had to poke a hole. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> unless unless you're right and they unless you're right and I'm right and they did change their mind on doing a third set of Joker cards. But uh regardless, they came up with a dope idea for this for these events. I think it would be really fucking cool to make it to all five. I doubt I'll make it to all five if it goes international. I'm thinking that might be probably what they're thinking, but uh, hey, it's a goal to at least try to make it to as many as I can, right, and at least get the coins. So leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about this new event or these new events that have been announced, and what do you guys think about CPN's theory, his hypothesis? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.